Hello guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to the Free Hammers. I thought I'd do a quick, very quick preview with like about an hour and a half to go before the game. Purely if you didn't want to watch all the gear, no idea. It was a very long show this morning, an hour and a half. And obviously we did cover a little bit in the podcast. But again, for the people that like shorter videos, I thought I'd do a very quick one on my views on the game and what I think we might see today. So, West Ham versus Fulham. You know, a team at their ground. We've got quite a good record. I, I actually, I, I've been there once. And uh, Nobby Solano scored in the last minute. That, that's like my memories actually being at Craven Cottage. But um, I think there was a game where... Did Vaste score a hat-trick in one of them games? I, I remember some really, really good games where you know we usually turn up there and give them a really good game. Um, they've got some really good players in there. Lookman, um, I like Loftus-Cheek. Has all the capabilities to turn up on his day. And be really good. We've seen him do it against Rice a couple of times. I think Rice has gone on a little bit since that game. But um, they, have, they have a decent football inside. But we should have enough to do them. They did play quite well against us. Um, at London Stadium. A really, really frustrating game. Um, you know, that we did manage to score in the 90th minute. With, through Big Tom. Who else? Um, and then obviously they had that penalty that they missed. And we was potentially a little bit lucky that day but like I say the way we're playing barring the Liverpool game recently just because we got that all wrong everything before the game during the game etc Crystal Palace game we were fantastic Aston Villa the other night unbelievable some of the football we played um, if we turn up like that and the fact that Fulham have to win, you know, they can't be relying on draws anymore. If they want to get out of it, they've got to come out of the blocks. They've got to try and get a goal. Hopefully, they don't get a goal too early because that, that's something that could play against us. If they got a goal too early, they might sit back and then we'd have to break them down. If we score first, it could be, it could be one of those two, threes, fours, you know, if we score first. Um, in terms of the team lineup. Like I say, the only change I would make personally a bit harsh on um, Ryan Fredericks. But for me, Gerard Bowen would go back in. Jesse Lingos should start. No reason for him not to start. He can't play in the cup game on Tuesday night. So he may as well give him another 90 minutes. And then get, he gets a week rest until the Sheffield United game. Um, Antonio, hopefully, I would start him purely because we can... At the moment, the league's there and the positions are there to take advantage of. So I would start him, but hopefully we can take him off quite early after maybe 60 minutes. Um, and then he's got a bit of rest time before the Manchester United game where I want to see the full team plan. I'd like to see Oda Beckham maybe given a chance at some point if we, if the game goes the way that I want it to. Um, it's all about mindset and how we apply ourselves to the game. Um, I don't think... You know, we will take it lightly. I think there's a real belief and a real winning mentality and bringing in someone like Jesse Lingard in now has really boosted the team. Uh, Moyes will definitely instill it. Like, come on, let's not take it for granted. There's six points there for you boys. Um, you know, if we win, we go 10 points clear of Arsenal, which is unthinkable. Um, we'll go above Liverpool at least till tomorrow when they're playing Manchester City. You know, it's there for us. It's there for the taking. It's um, it's, people were saying it before the Palace game. You know, this is classic, where we usually slip up, and then we won it, and we went fourth. And then the Liverpool game, we sort of slipped up. But you know, the fact that Brighton beat Liverpool and then we beat Villa, it's sort of gone back to what it was. Now it's that neck another chance to get there, sit in fourth and sort of secure it. And then maybe the Sheffield United game next week again. We have to win the game first, but if we win this, win the Sheffield United game, you're really, really in the mix. And, you know, those games are slowly, slowly running out in terms of how long you've got to stay there. I don't think we will finish fourth, but I tell you what, we have give ourselves a very, very good chance and we'll give ourselves even better chance if we can do something in the next two games. I think we're going to win. I don't think it's going to be as easy as I'm as confident as I feel, just purely because I think... You know, it's, it'll just be one of them little stubborn games. It may be a little bit like uh, the game at the London Stadium where, where, where we're waiting a long time for a goal. Um, so maybe a 1-0, 2-0 victory. Um, but, as I said, if we do score early, it could be a big, big score. Hopefully, so be, I keep saying it, hopefully Ben Rama gets his first goal. 
Um, anyway, guys, I don't care who scores, as long as we win and we get ourselves back in that top four and the results go our way this weekend. Come on, you guys, keep believing, hit the like button, and please subscribe if you haven't already. Let's go.